Hey, what's going on guys? Today I want to make a quick video talking about the Apple Clear Cases. So I recently got the iPhone 15 Pro Max that you see right here. And I've been rocking the Apple Clear Case on it ever since I unboxed the phone. Literally, if you go watch my unboxing video, you watch me put this case on and the phone has not been removed ever since. So I want to kind of give you my thoughts about the Clear Case in case you are looking to purchase one. So the clear case has been available for iPhones for several years now. I've always been a Apple leather case kind of guy, so I've never actually used a clear case until this one right here. Also, I've never used a max size iPhone before, so I had two things to get used to. Now I've had this phone for three weeks as of yesterday when I'm recording this video. So let me tell you what I think about this clear case. The first thing you need to know about the clear case is it looks really, really nice. I do like the way this case looks. And that's the whole point, of course, of getting a clear case is to be able to show off your shiny new iPhone. That's the thing that I was always, you know, kind of missing with the Apple leather case. Nobody could see my beautiful iPhone underneath that leather because it was completely enclosed. So this case definitely helps solve that. Of course, this case does include the MagSafe ring, which I don't really like the look of it, but it's just something that has to be there. Also, something else to note is with this case, the bottom portion of it is completely open. I'm not sure why Apple chose to do that. I know that pretty much all the rest of their cases are actually uh, enclosed down here. My leather case was enclosed. But, you know, there are ups and downs to having this bottom portion open. The main one, of course, is you won't have stuff kind of get trapped in your speaker grills and your uh, charge port right here. So that's nice having this bottom open, but of course it also means that a portion of your phone is unprotected. As far as holding this case in my hand, well, that is the interesting part of it. I feel like as of now, after three weeks, it was more like two weeks, uh, where I got used to actually being able to hold the phone. This case, I will tell you, don't be discouraged by it, but... It is the most slipperiest case. Is that a word? Slipperiest? <laughs> it's very, very slick to hold this case in your hand. Uh, when I first got it, it would just slide out of my hand. You can see it's kind of sliding a little bit, but it was so difficult to grip this case and hold on to it in your hand. I'm not sure what it was, uh, but I guess, you know, the oils from your hands obviously are going to get on this. That's another thing about this case. I don't think you can... Well, you might be able to see it a little bit on camera. This case is a fingerprint magnet. It just kind of smudges and uh, all over the case and everything. And that's what made it really slick at first was the oils from my hands getting on the case and making it difficult to grip and hold it. So this at first was really, it was a two-handed you know, phone when I first got it. Now I can, I'm used to holding it with just one hand, but you're gonna be very, very shocked when you first get this case at how slippery it is in your hand. I guess there's some sort of like manufacturing thing they do to it. Maybe they put some sort of coating over this uh, material that just has to wear in because that's what had to happen. This thing had to wear in for me to be able to grip uh, the phone. So <laughs> it's pretty, uh, pretty crazy, but don't be discouraged by that. Just use the case for a week or two and see if things get better. But just keep in mind that at first this case is super duper slippery. My other concern with this case is it's really something that probably happened on all cases, but you can't see it. You can definitely see it on this case. So when you put your phone in your pocket or it starts getting a little dirty, whatever, uh, you're going to notice that things are going to easily get trapped inside of your case. And like I said, that happens probably on all cases. But the difference here, of course, is that you can see it. So if you look up top here, I'm not sure how this looks on the camera. But if you notice, the top of my phone inside the case is just covered in what I would assume to be pocket lint and different things like that. And it's just all the way around, you know, it's not too bad on the sides of the case, but on the top of it, 
it's definitely pretty bad. There's a lot more, it looks like, down here. And even on the back of the case, you can see that some stuff has kind of gotten, like I said, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but I'm seeing several different things in this area, uh, right in here, stuff's gotten trapped in there, just all around uh, inside the case, right there, there, all in this area. So that's something to keep in mind as well. And then this also happened on my leather case. You get a lot of that pocket lint getting trapped around the camera lens as well. So this is something that you're going to have to obviously kind of uh, clean, you know, take this case off and actually clean it. But this phone collects a lot of pocket lint, I've noticed, on the bottom of it. And then the way I put my phone in my pocket is I put it in like this. So when I pull it out, it I'm able to immediately just see the screen like that. So I think that's why a lot of the lint and stuff is definitely getting trapped around the edges. But then it gets pushed up in to the case itself. So the Apple Clear case, uh, this one was $49. And, you know, the main selling point, I think, of this is obviously if you want to be able to see your iPhone then this is the case to get. And another thing is Apple uses a different material on their clear case as well. I believe it's called polycarbonate or something like that. But the material they use on here is anti-yellowing. So clear cases, of course, like to yellow over time after they're exposed to the sunlight, different elements like that. So with this material, it's actually not going to yellow over time. So I would much rather pay the Apple premium to get a non-yellowing case than to trust some random manufacturer on Amazon because my first instinct was to just go on Amazon, get a $13 case, and call it a day. But unfortunately, uh, I couldn't get that case. It did say anti-yellowing, but then after thinking about it, I'm like, do I really trust uh, that, you know, how do we know it is anti-yellowing? This phone just came out, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, Apple Clear Case, overall, I think this is a good purchase for your new iPhone. You just got to keep in mind that this case could be a little slippery in your hands when you first get it. You need to kind of wear it in as you go. Uh, and the other thing, I'm not sure if I mentioned this already, I'm not too confident in this actually protecting my phone. I'm certainly not going to find out if it protects my phone on purpose, but everybody's gonna have an accidental drop one day, so I guess I'll find out one day if this actually protects my phone. I've seen some people saying that when they drop their phone, uh, it literally cracks the plastic or the polycarbonate material here. So I don't know, I guess we'll have to find out. Uh, one day, but anyways guys that is all I got for you on this today Let me know what case you got on your 15 Pro Max or a new iPhone Or maybe even your older iPhone Just let me know what case you've been rocking and if there's anybody out there that has an Apple clear case long term Let me know what you think about it in the comments down below But anyways guys, it's all I got for you today in this video. Thanks for watching the channel subscribing and liking the videos And I will catch you all in the next one